Alrighty, Bob, so here we are. I'm about to feed Buddy. He's just... There he is, he's just hanging out at the moment. But uh, I'm sure he's hungry. And this will take... Probably about 10 seconds, I reckon. He loves them. Where is he? He's just in there. I'm just, uh, just going to have to figure out how exactly I'm going to do this without getting in the way because I'm going to put my hand in the way here. Swap hands. I'll do it. Alrighty, so. Here we go, feeding Buddy. Okay. Help me. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Sorry, Bob. But there we go. It's always a bit of a surprise, a bit of a shock when he does strike. But yeah, that took all of what, ten seconds maybe. And there he is, straight onto it. He'll, uh, you see, he doesn't, doesn't really do much. He just bites with the head. Calls around it twice, I'd say. Yeah, you can just see. Just in there, he's just wrapped around it twice. And he'll sit like that for probably about the next 15, 20 minutes. It's just his natural thing. That's what he does, just to make sure it's dead. Even though it is dead, he doesn't know that. It's just his natural response, and which is good, because he's captive raised, he's still got his wild instincts. But uh, yeah, he'll sit like that for probably about 15, 20 minutes, and then hopefully he's grabbed, he's grabbed the right end of it, I've made sure he's grabbed the head. That's why I've actually started feeding him from the hand, because he was, I was just dropping them in the tank and letting him be, and he'd strike straight away. But uh, he grabbed the wrong end, he'd struck at the, the arse of it. So now I make sure, I sort of just dangle him from the tail. Always making sure that there's no chance he's going to strike my hand. As you saw then, he was striking from under the log. So he was not able to strike upwards towards me. He just goes straight for the head of the rat. Which is absolutely perfect. And he's actually got it on the side because you'll just see. So the phone's in the way, it's not great. That's actually the head right on the top there, so he's actually struck it at the side. But he'll figure out where the head is. And he seems to be relaxing a little. You can just see him. So I've got a bit of a shake on. There we are. So, yeah, he's kind of grabbed it just to the side. He's actually struck that. He's wrapped around it good and proper. And yeah, he'll figure that out. He'll, he'll call up and wrap around it for a while, make sure it's nice and constricted in his own mind. And then he'll, he'll release, he won't completely release it, but he'll relax his grip on it, he'll take his head off, uncoil once I'd say, and then he'll just try and figure out where the head is and he'll start the feeding. But uh, we'll leave him to his thing. I might come back a little bit later and, and see how he's going with the actual feeding part. Awesome. See ya.